Hey there, so today we're gonna time travel. We're gonna go back almost 20 years, back to a time when you didn't have apps on your phone with guitar sounds, you didn't have amps with every setting under the sun at your fingertips. Mostly you had crappy pedals. And if you were lucky, you were able to get something like this. The good old Zoom G2. 0.1U. They loved their catchy names back in the day, didn't they? Bloody hell, G2.1U. This is an early multi-effects unit. Loads and loads of settings on here. I thought it'd be really fun to test this out today. I bought it recently for someone else in the home. And I remember when these first came out, to be honest with you, um, but I never, I never had one. But I thought, let's just check it out. And also, um, let's see, if it's potentially usable today, you know, it's a bit of old tech, but old doesn't necessarily mean rubbish. What we're going to do is I'll show you the pedal. I'll give you a brief rundown of what it can do. I'm not, I'm going to try and make it brief because it can be a bit overwhelming, uh, breaking it down into the, the real fine details, but I'll try and explain it as concise as I can while showing you what it can do. I'll also use it within the context of a, a brief piece of music just to see what it sounds like basically does it sound awesome also check out my light box i've gone og youtube style like and subscribe if you like this video um let's create a bit of a bit of a community here i really enjoy your input so please also let me know what you think of this pedal if you have one if you use it if you like it don't like it i, want, I genuinely want to hear your thoughts but anyway let's scope out this pedal in a little bit more detail so here we go, this is it, the Zoom G2.1U close-up. This pedal I bought second-hand, because uh, it's an old bit of kit. And stay tuned for the rest of this video, because there is a very tenuous link to Led Zeppelin with this pedal. I'm not joking, there's, there's a link to Led Zeppelin, I'll explain later. But I'm going to try and run through these settings as concisely as I can. Two foot switches here, it's not plugged in at the moment, but I'll show you what they do later. Plus an expression pedal here. You've got loads of settings, so you can move these dials to adjust all these settings. Each um, effect is adjustable. You've got a gain setting, a, a tone setting, and a level setting. Um, and then also, you've got a drum machine, which you can activate here. You can affect the pattern, the tempo, the mix here. Um, and also there's different settings depending on which effect you're using. So you can see different rate, feedback, the mix, treble, etc. This along the side tells you what this wah, this expression pedal is kind of set to. So whatever's lit up there is what this pedal is doing. Um, and then you you can cycle through different effects. So within each patch, so within each, so for example, if I move it to drive, you can pick multiple different versions of drive here that honestly there's so much to do um and i'm going to show you as much as i can without getting too nitty gritty so it doesn't become boring i've got to say as well the construction for this pedal is solid metallic kind of top metallic buds buttons um on the back it also has an option for batteries let's just have a look in here what is it it's four aa batteries um, and then your inputs, outputs, you've got USB, input, output, control in, stick some headphones in as well. Let's plug it in and start making some basic sounds. And today we're going to be using the Vox Cambridge 15 completely clean. These are the settings that I'm using. They're upside down. So stand on your head to see exactly what those settings are. But that's, that's the sound I'm going for. So here we are. The Zoom G. 2.1U. <laughs> That's a good sound, wasn't it? Um, I'm going to show you what it's like on its base level, and I'll try and keep this nice and concise. There's a lot to get through with this pedal. I won't go through every detail, but hopefully it gives you an idea. Uh, we're on zero, which is your, your base setting. It's like a gain. As I said to you earlier, these lights tell you what this pedal's doing. It's a volume. So it indicates volume right now. I've got it on the play setting. I don't know if you can see that, but that says play. And that is your cycling through effects mode, all right? You're not, you're not really adjusting stuff. Um, and, and this just helps you cycle through effects. 
So I'm on zero. I just cycle through using the pedals, up or down, whatever I want, different sounds for each one. There are 40 preset sounds in here, okay? All adjustable as well, uh, but 40 presets that you get straight off the bat. Um, yeah, all of them adjustable, like I said. So if I want more gain, just whack the gain up. If I want less gain, turn the gain down. Same, same with the tone controls. More bass, more treble, um, and more volume as well. If you want to cycle through a bit quicker, you can press this to jump 10 sounds ahead. So for example, we're on zero, 10, 20, 30, etc. Let's just make some noise. What does this sound? What does this thing sound like? So let's just see what else we've got. Oh, we've got like a, a bit of a funky wah. So, and to be fair, the sound is half decent. Pedal shows you you're adding more modulation, less modulation. So that's adding more chorus. Whoa, okay. Again, insane. <laughs> um, or you can be like Slipknot instantly. Uh, let's try the last effect, 39. So yeah, I, I hope you can kind of see how versatile this pedal is. And, and just to show you, look, every effect is, is fully customizable. So, so we've got this kind of, um, there we go, we've got kind of a, a, a distortion. I can adjust the gain. I can adjust the tone. I can adjust the level. Also, I can add stuff. So I'll add some delay. I'll switch it to the, the, to the delay. I'll cycle through because you can get different delays. Each setting has different types of effect. So for example, if I'm on distortion, I can choose a different type of distortion. But this delay has, let's try this one.
but yeah, that's just an example of how you can adjust stuff. You do that for every effect. Now I'm going to show you how you get your own sounds. There's 40 presets, as I said earlier. There are 40 banks where you can create your own stuff. I'll show you how you get there. So we're in A. Uh, so we've got A, B, C, D. Within each letter, there are 10 different banks where you can create your own sounds. And what I'm doing for this video is I'm going to show you how I've made essentially a basic pedal board. Well, a really basic pedal board. I've used it in the D setting. What I've done is number five is going to be my clean. So each side of that clean can be a different sound. So I'll show you what I mean. I've already, I've already made it. <laughs> Here's one I made earlier. I've already made it. D5 is my kind of clean with a, with a bit of uh, echo. So that's my clean. What I thought is if I go to the right, I can have a distortion. So I made a distortion. Um, and then what I thought is I'll go, if I go down from the clean, it's like a delay sort of gain for solos with a bit of volume. So you can adjust it. I guess the only um, downside of, of this trying to use it as a pedal was you have to cycle through to get to the next effect, which is why I've done it that way. I'd rather put the clean in the middle, then you can cycle either side of it to, to get a different sound. And I'm going to use these effects within the context of a piece of music so you can hear it going direct in and hear what kind of quality you're getting. So yeah, let's check out that bit of music now. Make a bit of noise, come on. <laughs> So the Zoom G2.1U, what are my thoughts on it? Let's be honest, it doesn't compare to modern equipment. It can't. 20 years later, it can't compare with what's out today. But is it still worth a go? I'd say yeah. I'd say definitely. If, if you just want to create some cool sounds, get inspiration, have a mess about and have fun, which is ultimately why we play music, surely, is to just have fun. This thing absolutely does the job. Could I gig with it? Uh, I think I could. I think I could get enough sounds to get what I need to get through a gig. Let me be clear, they're not comparing to individual pedals or a, a bespoke setup with, you know, things that you really enjoy. But to get through a gig, you could definitely create a few sounds to get through a show, a gig, a performance, whatever. The way I view these pedals are like a international all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> it's got everything you like there. There's no gourmet meal, They're, the food isn't particularly high quality, but it's yummy and you can get creative um, and enjoy yourself. But it's not a bespoke high quality pedal, you know, for a specific sound. You know, it's not a high quality chorus or high quality distortion gain overdrive, whatever. But it's enough 
to do what it needs to do, if you know what I mean. So yeah, this is this is the all-you-can-eat buffet of pedals. Yeah, and, and I enjoyed it. At the start of the video, I said there's a tenuous link to Led Zeppelin. Now, um, when I got this pedal, I, got, I still got the box and the manual for it. So it came in this box, the manual in great condition, the pedal, the pedal's in great condition. I got it second hand off um, Facebook Marketplace. And I, I went to a lady um, and it was, it was an elderly lady. And unfortunately her husband had died um, and she was selling a lot of his music equipment. And I got chatting to her and she's, she mentioned, oh yeah, he used to, he used to play with Bonzo. And I was like, who's Bonzo? I said, he can't, she can't be chatting about John Bonham. Like, you know, like what, what have I walked into here? She said, oh yeah, my husband, um, was in the last band John Bonham was in before he got picked up by Zeppelin. And she brought out these, these old articles of, of her husband and John Bonham and whoever else was in the band at the time. They were a three piece, I think like a covers band doing lots of music halls. And they'd signed a, a, a record deal or a, some contract. And that was there, yeah, him and John Bonham. So there's your extremely tenuous link from this pedal to John Bonham. <laughs> But yeah, how cool was that? Just to, to walk into that little bit of history. It was a nice, really nice lady. And obviously it was unfortunate um, the reasons why this pedal has come this way, but it's definitely in good hands. It's gonna get a lot of use. Let me know your thoughts on these Zoom pedals. Have you got one? Did you like it? Have you tried it and not enjoyed it? Would you, would you think of getting one today? Because less, you know, it is old tech now compared to what you get nowadays. But you can still get them relatively cheap online. I got this for an absolute bargain. I think I only really paid like 20 quid for it. And you're not paying much more nowadays. So that is the Zoom G2.1U. Thanks for taking a trip back in time to the early uh, 2000s. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, take it easy, guys.